Give me that spatula. Hello. Today we will be making pancakes from scratch without using the box. During the pandemic, I've I've been falling in love with this baking and cooking. Let's get started. First things first, you need two bowls. One for your dry ingredients and one for your wet ingredients. So, we'll start with our dry ingredients for this one. You need some flour. baking powder, and then mix it up a little to make get it scattered around in the bowl, you could say. Now let's move to the wet ingredients. First, you'll need some milk. One cup. Then you will need some sugar. That should go in with the wet ingredients, but it goes with the wet. Olive oil and an egg. These, this egg is not from the grocery store. This egg is from our chickens in our backyard. So mix. Get it good. And you should never go like this. Always make your, put it like this and then mix it like that. And once you get it nice and good, get to your dry ingredients and pour in your wet ingredients. And mix this all together. And don't worry if it gets chunky. Yeah. And mix it up until your flour has dissolved. Looks like this flour has dissolved. Now, these babies are almost ready to go on the stove. So let's get that pan hot. Okay, now that we're at our oven, we need to grease our pan. So, take your olive oil, pour some on your pan. Next, you have to light your pan, but Children, don't do this without your parents. My parents are behind the camera. So let's light. I'm gonna put it between high and medium so that our pancakes don't get too less of a cook or too much of a cook. So let's start. I'm gonna use this thing, Majig, to pour my pancakes in. You can get to about eight or six pancakes if it depends how much you use. Slightly pour it. And another thing is, it won't just cook like pew. It, you have to flip it so that the wet side, this side, will get cooked also. So, waiting. Oh, I think we're ready. Let's check. No, you're not. Well, this is cooking. I'm gonna get my plate out. Ready? Whoa, no we are not. Okay. Press down. Let's get that going. That looks ready. And then repeat. Move quick so it doesn't drip. Wait about 90 seconds. So I'm guessing it has 40 seconds. Okay, this looks ready. Yesterday, I just figured out that school was canceled for the rest of the semester, year actually. And I was really bummed out because, I don't know, it's really stressful. And so, I decided to live this out by cooking and baking. Whoa, I think it's ready. Let's check. Whoa. That's okay. For Easter, I made some brownies without the box. So please subscribe so you can see how to make brownies without the box. 
and chocolate strawberries without buying them at the store. Oh wow, okay, this one's ready. You need to get your stove just right at the temperature or else you'll be either eating raw or burnt pancakes. I don't like either. Now let's make one big one. Let your dad have this one. Spatula! That is too much. Don't worry if it breaks. Dad! Uh oh. Ah. One of the most important things about when you're serving something is to make it look good. Even if your food doesn't look good, surround it like it looks good. And then top it with delicious toppings. Ice cream, sprinkles, anything you would want. Sprinkles. Let's start to put on a nice plate. The plate. We'll start out with the basic plate. Another thing is, always remember that the eye eats first. You might be thinking, oh, I can eat that all, but maybe you can't. It's a lot of food. I mean, we have six pancakes. <sighs> I'm going to put biggest to last, as you can see. Now let's top it. Best ice cream in the world. AGB 1905 vanilla ice cream. Mmm, so delicious. Mmm, delicious. Top it with syrup and sprinkles if you have any. It's okay if you don't have any of these things. Just make sure to have the pancakes. Hmm. Whoa. Mm. I'm gonna use the dots. Wow. Sprinkles are good. Oh. Now eat it quick before your ice cream melts. Mm. These pancakes are delicious to share with your family, friends, anyone, neighbors. Mm. These pancakes are way better than the box. And, and make waffles out of these if you have a waffle toaster thingy, whatever you're called. Mm. Thank you for joining me in. Give me that spatula. If you would like to see more, subscribe down below. Goodbye.